Tonikit installs in less than one hour. All the necessary parts for installation are provided in the packaging. Reservoir, reactor, diffuser, gas or diesel, silicon tubing and various fixing collars. For installation, you will need to have the following tools. A flat head screwdriver. For diesel motors, a drill with normal or multi-staged 12 mm bit and a cutter or scissor. Step 1. The bubbler, which is the reservoir. Start by choosing the location in the engine compartment where you will place the reservoir in a hot area away from cold drafts, for example, behind the engine cooling radiator. Attach the reservoir firmly in place with two long plastic collars. Be careful not to obstruct the underside of the reservoir through which air enters. Verify that the reservoir is attached securely. Step 2. The reactor. Now, take the reactor and insert it into the two extremities of the silicone tube, making sure to have placed two collars for fixation. Tighten the collars with a flathead screwdriver. Place the reactor against the engine's cast iron exhaust manifold or on the hottest location on the turbocharger and attach it in place with a big metallic collar, making certain that the silicon tube does not come in contact with the manifold. Attention, the exhaust manifold is often difficult to access. Bring the silicon loop towards the reservoir. Step 3. The diffuser. For diesel motors, find the rubber or plastic intake hose, preferably as close as possible to the turbocharger or in a hose with a small diameter. The intake is found between the air filter and the engine or turbocharger. Drill a 12 mm hole with a normal or multi-staged bit. Insert the diffuser with force, being sure to orient the arrow on the diffuser in the same direction as the air circulation. Fix the diffuser in place with the plastic collars furnished. For gas motors, use the diffuser that has the pin-shaped bit, no drilling necessary. Push it into the rubber hose placed just after the throttle butterfly canister hose or intake manifold sleeve, or other vacuum hose, for example, the crankcase breather. Attention, do not pierce or drill the vacuum hose of the brake booster. Step 4. Connection. The silicon hose supplied is 2 meters long, which is sufficient, but be sure to cut in the right place. The connection between the reservoir and the reactor must be as short as possible. Avoid more than one meter's length. The entrance and exit of the reactor are interchangeable. No error possible. Link the silicon hose to the reservoir and fix the hose in place with a metallic collar. Connect in the same manner the tube to the diffuser, making sure there are no low points in order to avoid accumulation of condensation when the engine is not running. Verify that the tubing in general does not rub against any sharp parts. Attach in place if necessary. Step 5. Finish of installation and filling. Unscrew the cap and fill the reservoir with clean rainwater or distilled water, engine stopped, to the max level, visible from above once the floater arrives at cap level. 
Do not use chlorinated or hard water. Fasten the cap well after filling. You can now start your engine and verify the reservoir for formation of air bubbles within. To do this, you need simply to accelerate the engine a little bit. For turbocharged engines, bubble formation begins at low RPM when the vehicle is in motion. For more information, please visit www.econikit.fr.